This is a tutorial on how to make use of any electrical device in a Rube Goldberg chain reaction by using a power strip. For this example, I'm going to be using a fan, but this technique can be used for any type of device that runs on electricity and creates some sort of movement. The first thing to do when building any chain reaction is to divide all of your materials into two categories, things you want to move and things you don't want to move. For all the parts that you want to be static in the machine, you're going to want to glue them down into place or secure them down in some way. In this case, I'll be gluing down the power strip, blocks, and the tracks. For all pieces of a chain reaction, there are three parts. How it gets activated, what it actually does, and how it triggers the next part of the reaction. For this example, I want a fan to push a ball across a ramp. The first step is turning the fan on. It would be pretty difficult to have a machine actually flip the switch of a fan, so to make things easier, I use the power strip to kick it on. Now I'm going to set the fan in place where I want it, and then I'm going to set up a track to lead to the next part of the machine. The orange ball rolling across this ramp is the end result of this idea, and it's also how it will lead to the next step of a chain reaction. And now for the final setup, I'm going to put the orange ball on the second ramp, turn the power strip off, turn the fan on, and roll the pink ball down the first ramp. Here's what it looks like when finished.